Hello, Phasmatic friends! Today we're going to study a very, very important subject. It is not a subject like others that you are not using in your life. All your life, you are going to use the rule of three. And today we're going to see the direct rule of three. And after that, in another video, the inverse rule of three. Let's see one example. Imagine, last weekend, in your house you had a party and your friends came, let's say 14 friends were with you and you bought some sodas. With six sodas, your 14 friends were happy. But now, you say, I will organize a party with 56 friends. And the question is, how many sodas am I going to use? Then we can use a powerful resource that we have that is named the rule of three. In this case, direct rule of three. But how to identify if the rule of three is the direct rule of three or the inverse rule of three? For instance, more friends, more drinks. Less friends, less drinks. More gasoline, more kilometers you can drive. Less gasoline, less kilometers you can drive. More food, you get more weight. Less food, you get less weight. Those are examples of the rule of three. The direct rule of three. The inverse rule of three could be more workers, less time for finishing a house. Less workers, more time for finishing a house, for instance. Let's continue. How to solve it? It's very simple. In order to find the unknown value, we're going to multiply the numbers that have a couple diagonally and the result is going to be divided by the number that doesn't have a couple diagonally. Then we write 56 times 6 divided by 14. So 56 times 6 336 divided by 14 24 sodas and that's it thank you very much for your attention